five wounded veterans are in West Michigan working with a nonprofit that uses fashion and creativity as therapy. Joining us to talk about fashion has heart, Captain Tak and Kayla, welcome. And this is Liz the dog. First off, thank you for your service and thank you for being here today. What, what does fashion has heart mean to you? You say it's, it's a release. Yes, um, since I left the military and I've been in um, uh, hospitals, they have used art through the nurses, but never have I using art in, in this capacity with uh, fashion has heart in utilizing designers, artists, in maximizing the potential to show the vision of my healing process and what I'm going through, to put it on a design where it can talk to and reach millions. Kayla, you came in from Los Angeles yes, for this. What did you think when you first heard about this and, and how mm. does it make you feel to be able to take part? I was so excited. I just thought the whole idea had so much passion behind it. And you get kind of nervous because you're working with someone who has done something so great for you and you just want to bring their vision to something that you can sell to a ton of people mm -hmm. that eventually goes back to help them. So I thought it was an amazing process. Uh, was Captain Tuck, did you ever have thoughts of art before this? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, just going through therapy, we did use arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. And uh, it felt good to complete something in that small mm -hmm. diameter. But with Fashion as Heart, how they utilize all these artists and designers from around the country and bring them here to the city of Grand Rapids, where you feel the warmth of the city, the love of the people, and it's just a great, not only internal healing, mm -hmm. but also mentally. And it's, it's definitely saving veterans' lives. And that's great to hear. Kayla, what do you think uh, the project is going to end up uh, turning out to be for the two of you? We don't want to spoil anything uh, <laughs> for any competition who's watching, but you just met yesterday and you're only going to be yeah. here till tomorrow. Uh, we just met yesterday, but it's an amazing process and we're doing amazing things. And it's, um, it's the brainstorming process is so nice because you get to watch people develop and come up with ideas and tweak things. and. We have some really good stuff going on. Yeah. And the winning designs will, uh, if I recall, they went on t-shirts before, but they end up in art prize. So mm -hmm. this is something that's really going, going to live on after this. Does, it, does that mm -hmm. have an impact on you as well? It does, and I think it sets up the whole fashion has heart to do more things and better things in the future and, and bring in these amazing people who have such great stories. They really have great stories and it really touches you. This is Memorial Day weekend, so uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about the true meaning people a lot of times seem to forget and they think it's, it's cookouts and it's boating. Uh, do you want to put it in perspective a little bit for us? Um, I like to say, uh, as a person who's, whose parent is an immigrant and I'm first generation, um, I would not have the opportunity if I wasn't born in this country to go through university, go through law school, and serve our great nation. And Americans just need to some, just take a moment to realize the little things you're doing every day and to know that men and women have sacrificed so much and say thank you or attach yourself to an organization just like Fashion as Heart where it's giving thanks and appreciation for the veterans that have sacrificed so much for our country. Well, from all of us, Captain Talk, thank you for being here. Kayla, thank you. We thank look you. forward to keeping everybody updated on the progress. We will link this story to our Facebook page and fox17online.com. Share it with everybody you know, and we will keep everybody updated with Fashion Has Hearts. We got another check of your top stories and a quick forecast after the break.